Here's an update on the Mars VR program. We're coming up on one week since the Kickstarter began and we're off to a great start. We're about two thirds funded. There are plenty of rewards left, including seats at the Mars Desert Research Station, which we have never before offered to the general public. You'll get five days and four nights at the Mars Desert Research Station and be able to live out your dream of being on Mars in a real analog environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions now. What hardware will you support? Well, we're gonna actually try to be as multi-platform as we can. We're going to, of course, allow for support of the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift, which are the two primary headsets out there in the market today. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna allow for a variety of headsets to be used, including well, Samsung Gear VR, Windows Mixed Reality, and Google Cardboard. Question number two, what technology will you be using? Well, we're gonna take a look at some of the different frameworks available now, such as Unity and Unreal, and see what's best for us. There are some pros and cons to using both of those, and we're doing the research now to really figure that out. The goal is we wanna have a good developer ecosystem, and we wanna be able for people to learn how to contribute to the project easily, and that's a factor, as well as the high resolution textures that we're gonna capture at the MDRS and making sure that those look good on the final environment. Question three, are you going to open source Mars VR? Yes, we are going to open source Mars VR. We wanna make use of the community to really grow what we're doing and uh, use it for public outreach, but also uh, help us contribute to it by learning how to develop code for it. Question four, how will you deal with latency? Well, our phase one platform will be a fully immersive VR environment based off of what we do at the Mars Desert Research Station in terms of all the photogrammetry scans we're gonna do this summer and assembling those into a complex VR environment. But you're actually going to be running that on your local headset or the computer that the headset is plugged into. So you're not going to have any latency in terms of communicating between Earth and Mars for our phase one technology. Uh, it's going to be running locally for you. Now we will be working on some multi-user scenarios as part of phase one and we're going to keep this in mind. We don't want to have a lot of latency. If you and another person are logged into the same environment, we want to make sure that it's a smooth experience for both of you. The ultimate goal is for astronauts to be exploring uh, alongside people back on Earth. So for that, uh, we're not necessarily going to be doing that in real time. What would probably happen is there's going to be a delay in when the high resolution images come back to Earth. Um, it's not necessarily going to be in real time that you're working alongside an astronaut on Mars, but, but what we can do is make sure that the data can come back to Earth and get assembled into the VR environment very quickly and efficiently so that the latency is low there so that the data is received on Earth and gets into the VR experience as fast as possible. Ultimately, we do wanna have it be where you could look at the images that have come back that day from Mars. One other scenario that could be interesting is having astronauts on EVA working alongside astronauts in the Mars base. And so for that, you wouldn't have a communication lag between Earth and Mars. And we're thinking about that scenario as well because that's something we could test at the MDRS. So please join our Kickstarter and pledge what you can. There's plenty of rewards left, including seats at the MDRS and plenty of our metal medallions, which are limited edition. And I really feel like that's the best reward level because for the $50 level, you get not only the metal medallion, which is a limited edition keepsake, and it's gonna be a great keepsake. You'll also get the Steam key to unlock the mission content. And that will give you the same exact experience that our MDRS crew members are going to get before they come out to the MDRS as they use the VR environment to do training. So if you get the Steam key and unlock the mission content, you'll be able to have the same experience that they do. You'll also get a digital poster of our final VR rendering of the MDRS base and facilities. You'll also get a digital donor certificate and a personalized thank you note from Dr. Robert Zubrin, the president and founder of the Mars Society. 
You'll also be recognized with your name in a special permanent plaque inside the VR environment. Since we're going to open source this, that means that your name is going to be in there for a long time as people work on this technology in the months, years, and decades to come. Finally, you can just feel good that you're going to help out with the serious research that's being done to enable human beings to walk on Mars. So please join our Kickstarter and pledge what you can. Tell your friends, family, colleagues at work and school about this and help us however you can to get the word out. Post about it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all the other social media and help us get the word out on this.